What's up everyone? This is FP King here to bring you some battles uh, as uh, Taylor recovers from his jaw surgery. Uh, the team that we'll be featuring today are battles from FP6 himself. Uh, the team is Galarian, Stunfist, Kingdra, and Venusaur. The team is quite strong. Basically the concept of the team uh, as, I, as I grasp from him is that Stunfist is a really strong uh, Pokemon, but it is weak to fighting and water. And Kingdra uh, and Venusaur are two of the best anti-water types. Kingdra as a water dragon type does double resist water moves and then Venusaur obviously resisting water moves, uh, but also dealing super effective damage with Vine Whip and um, Frenzy Plant. And Kingdra also acting as a safe swap, as it is one of the best safe swaps with that very deadly Octazooka chance for a debuff. And then Outrage Nuke allows it to flip a lot of matchups that it really shouldn't win. So I'm looking forward to be shoutcasting these battles. Let me know how I do. Let me know what you think of this team. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the battles. All right, we're getting into the first battle here. Gonna have Jeefus into Toxtroy, that's very bad. Gonna switch out to Venusaur. Toxtroy actually really tough for this team. Okay, so this is a very strange counter switch going into Lapras, into Venusaur. Lapras is a water type that's gonna take super effective damage uh, by the Venusaur, like, so likely they have an Empoleon in the back. This is a very common team comp of Toxicrow and double tanks. Uh, they're typically weak to counter and then you have the quote unquote superior counter user in Toxicrow in the lead. Uh, very gutsy no shield by FP6 there because um, that could easily have been a Skull Bash or an Ice Beam and definitely would have taken it out. Um, okay, and then he's gonna go in, immediately switch, uh, basically blind switches here, realizing that there's not very many worse Pokemon to deal with uh, than uh, then uh, Toxic Grove. Actually gonna shield here. Definitely could have survived there, but gonna farm basically to 100 energy, farm to 99. Gonna throw the Earthquake here. Unlikely the Empoleon will shield. And then because of the additional energy there, is gonna be able to get to this Earthquake. Uh, the Toxic Grove likely did have a move already, but uh, was looking to farm down and is able to win there. Uh, Venusaur was a huge core breaker for that team. Gonna end up in the mirror match between the Opposing Jeefus, this is a lot of fun. Uh, the world's best mirror, obviously. Uh, whoa, FP6 is gonna call the bait there. Unfortunately, they go for the earthquake. In the un unlike the Great League, it doesn't come close that close to KOing. Uh, so they will have to land another. In the Great League, you can just land the Rock Slide, uh, but this Rock Slide won't KO. Uh, it will put it really low, but you'll still be able to make it to the earthquake here. Obviously, the earthquake won't KO from the other side. So we're gonna see how this uh, opposing player is gonna deal with it. Oh, got a few mud shots in and this, uh, okay, gonna go to Kingdra, try to snipe it. Unfortunately, they did get to a move. Uh, should just be a rock slide, not that big a deal. Um, we're gonna see what's in the back. It is gonna be a Venusaur. So this might be um, a Gallade in the back or it might be a Gavantula in the back. Both kinda okay. Uh, depending on the shield scenario. Gonna farm up past the Outrage just before the um, Venusaur is gonna get to another Frenzy. They decide to shield there. Good, tried to catch the move there. I think you know shield this, hoping that you caught the Frenzy. They end up throwing the Sludge Bomb. It is Gavantula. This is actually a team that FP6 himself has featured. He is going for the double Frenzy, even though the Sludge Bomb is super effective. Uh, not super effective, it is neutral. Okay, some weird... Um, in the frenzy plant is resisted he knows he needs to hit two frenzy plants in order to to ko actually gonna go for the sludge bomb now okay that's totally fine and then we're gonna see the venusaur come in he is debuffed though so this is gonna be a very close game here uh oh they frenzy planted that's definitely not enough to ko gonna throw the sludge bomb here um this should be enough to ko even with the debuff so uh, Frenzy Plant does like just short of a quarter in the in the Ultra League, so it definitely wasn't enough to KO. Okay, Obama Snow, Galarian, so they go into um, Machamp. Very aggressive swap in the back. Uh, so we do expect that the when you already see Obama Snow, uh, you do expect a Swampert in the back or a Water type at the least. 
Um, given that they safe switch Machamp, we should see uh, Swampert in the back. So winning the switch here is pretty important uh, to make sure you have alignment. Uh, gonna oh, gonna get baited here. You did have to expend two shields, which is gonna be a little bit costly here. Um, okay, gonna oh. let's see what's gonna happen here. It is a rock slide that is not great, but getting energy here is really nice because uh, gonna be able to nuke the. Oh my gosh, they rock slided. Oh man, it is a Swampert in the back. So whenever you see a Bomb of Snow, you should expect a, a water type in the back. Um, it's very common with Machamp. Seems to be a very strong trio. Uh, needs to commit to this additional uh, Earthquake here. Uh, the Hydro Cannon, oh my gosh, okay, they went for their Earthquake there. Very nice play by the opponent. They, they also have to commit to another Earthquake here. Uh, well, I guess they can just commit to the Hydro Cannon. But they end up going for the earthquake. Man, the Swampert was absolute madness there. Um, unfortunately, got baited twice in that matchup. Okay, this is another really bad lead here. Gonna say switch into Kingdra. Um, Kingdra does win uh, the most of the even shield matchups against uh, Machamp. But obviously, the opponent is not locked in. Gonna go for the Octazooka. This Octazooka doesn't KO, but it would allow to get Dragon Breath down afterwards. No debuff, unfortunately. Can shield this. Okay, gonna let it go. Um, feels like playing the one shield is enough at this point in time. I'm very curious on what's in the back. It might be a Swampert. Uh, and I don't think this Machamp will get to a Rock Slide. This should just be a cross shot. Oh my gosh, it did get to a Rock Slide. Wow, had a lot of energy. Okay, this is not looking great here. Oh man, it is a Talon Flame. That is. Wow, okay. I'm predicting it's a Swampert in the back, right? Uh, it is a Swampert in the back. Oh my gosh. That was That is not good. Okay. Gonna, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is very bad there. Okay. Uh, so again, it, since they're staying in, they're either looking to take the shield. If they stay in further, then you should expect like a Swampert in the back. Okay. Um, gonna be able to land the Outrage here. So they, they, they should have something that can deal with uh, fairies in the back. Um, uh, potentially a, a steel type, like an Empoleon. So I wouldn't, or, or yeah, I, I, I expect Empoleon in the back. Okay. Did get the debuff there. It did cost them two shields though. Oh man. Okay. Oh man, this is looking pretty rough here. This is not looking. Oh my gosh, it's a Talon Flame. Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go into Empoleon. <laughs> okay. All right. Stay focused, King. Stay focused. Catches the Hydro Cannon, which is really huge here. Very nice. It's gonna be one one off the. Okay, they're staying here, so they must have. King... This might be Double Dragon. Considering that they're staying there waiting for this Kingdra to throw. So you should definitely build up past the Outrage. And then this Outrage is going to KO. Um, I'm going to basically throw before the, the next drill pack. This would KO. So we do expect it to be Double Dragon. Oh, nope. It is a V. Oh my gosh. It's a Poison Jab. Um, is that a Poison Jab Roserade? Oh man, they no shielded. What kind of psycho just, what? What? Did they just, okay, if they no shield this, this, this is complete madness. Okay. Okay, this is probably a leaf blade, but kind of has no choice but to shield this. Um, oh man. Oh man, he is in kind of trouble here. Okay, that didn't KO. Gonna catch the Leaf Blade here. I really like this play here. Wants energy on the Venusaur. They close combat. Able to farm down. That's actually really not that great there. These Poison Jabs. Oh man. Nice timing by the opponent. Will it live the Weather Ball? It will not live the Weather Ball. That's okay. Um, has lots of energy. Should be able to outpace. Uh, the Poison Jab does do... Uh, had to get a buff. But unfortunately doesn't generate energy as fast as Bullet Seed. So gonna be able to outpace this Roserade. Oh my gosh, no. 
No, okay, I spoke way too soon. I thought he had the I thought he had the rock slide. Okay, alright. Okay. Get it together, Taylor. Let's do this. Okay, great lead here. Great lead. Uh oh, we didn't see if it's okay. So probably gonna take a shield here and then look to switch to Kingdra. Definitely needs to switch, right? Needs to preserve. Oh, this is a flame charge for here. Very nice catch. And then gonna be able to farm down easy. This these flame charges are double resisted. They're not gonna be able to get to another move here. We're gonna see if it's charm. Oh, it is charm. Okay, gonna throw the Octazuki here. Hopefully gets well, I don't know if you want the debuff to be honest. Because then they get more farm. Well, you kinda wanna stop the clock too. Okay, so he's gonna be locked in for for about seven seconds, which is not great. That is not great. Gonna throw here so he can immediately get out. Okay, and then puts it within Frenzy Plant range, but two shield matchup and the Obstagoon has energy there, which is not ideal. And then there's a little bit of gap in the clock. I don't know if the Ninetales, I think the Ninetales is either at the move or one short. Gonna have to shield something eventually. But the good thing is that Obstagoon is not like an actual like fighter type. So the Rock Slide would still do neutral damage. Uh, which which do like around 25% it's not quite in rock side range uh, Probably gonna let this go. Yeah, makes sense um, Has oh my gosh, they, they got the boost and they switched out. Okay gonna switch here. Oh my gosh They got the boost and switched out. Okay, he's gonna build up to I don't know why he built up to the sludge bomb here to be honest because he could just build to the he's just basically gonna double rock slide here um, and then this game, this game should be over. He just needs to rock slide this, uh, and the opponent realizes that. Um, okay, this is a fantastic lead here. Um, the poison jabs are double resisted. They come to Umbreon here. Likely this is going to be a double dark team. So we should expect, um, like a Scrafty in the back or an Obstagoon. Um, gonna throw here just to ensure the switch advantage. Gonna go into Kingdra. These Dragon Breaths are really gonna chunk away at Umbreon. Unfortunately, Umbreon does have quite a bit of energy here. Likely, he'll just go Octazuka and farm down. Okay, nope, nope, okay. Um, uh, he's gonna look to aggressively farm this uh, Umbreon. Oh, gosh, he's gonna throw the Outrage here. Interesting. This will definitely KO. The Octazuka wouldn't have. So, oh my gosh, they have a Machamp, okay. Make, makes sense, okay. So they have um, something else like weak to charm, basically. They no shield it. Oh my gosh, these these opponents are absolute savages. Uh, so he's in a good spot here. But unfortunately, the the Earth Power doesn't KO here. It doesn't KO, it, like it'll put it into the red. So, but now with the Poison Fang, it will KO. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit of like a bait game here. We're gonna see, they know shielded. Oh, that's huge. Cause now can just rock slide this Machamp. Definitely doesn't need to shield this. Can basically just vine whip down this this Machamp at this point in time. Um, this is probably just another cross shop here, but it really doesn't matter. Oh, they rock slide it. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really matter here. Cause it's gonna be able to farm down with two shields. There's, uh, there's really no way that the opponent could win as long as he uses shields there. Okay, so this is a good matchup, obviously. They're gonna come into Escav here. Unfortunately, doesn't have a great answer to Escav. Probably Kingdra here. Gonna hit throw this rock side, dealing some neutral damage. They do get to the drill run here. Gonna have to shield. Mm, not the worst. Obviously, the counters are dealing super effective damage, and this um, uh, GFS is only doing neutral. But let's see if they decide to no. Sh okay, all right. Can definitely take this drill run. And then the Octazuka will KO, but th this is their, okay, so they're at seven away. Okay, they might make it. Oh, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, that is really not good. Gonna mud shot down. Oh, this is really bad. This is very bad. This is very bad here. They have Empoleon, okay. Gonna be able to, okay, gonna rock side bait here. And then look to switch out. Wants to. Oh my. Okay. All right. Gonna do the one mud shot here. Um, you probably shield this, right? Yeah, you shield this because it does the most damage. But I honestly don't know how you can uh, how you can beat this um, 
this uh, Empoleon in the back. And this sludge here. Um, would love the Dragon Claw. Okay, maybe the combination of, oh my gosh, this is getting so low. Okay, the combination of the Vine Whips. Okay, Venusaur does resist, right? Oh man, this is just no way, right? Oh, he, oh, he switched out. Okay, he wanted to transfer the waterfall onto the, there's just no way. It was a very nice idea, just um, was just too low in health. Okay, so you want to throw at seven here. So two past the rock slide just before they get to the um, flame charge. You could actually live the flame charge and get off the second. Okay, going to switch out here. Oh, are they going to throw the Brave Bird here? Okay, they are going to throw the Brave Bird. Okay, here comes the Bomb of Snow. Okay. Really want to catch there, but the opponent was committed to throwing another move for some reason. Or throwing another... Um, uh, incinerate so is gonna go for the debuff here. Oh my gosh, these opponents! Wh where is he finding these opponents here that just like just don't respect Kingdra? Energy ball, unfortunately, they did get debuffed, so uh, this definitely does not KO as well. Um, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's fantastic here, that's fantastic, okay. So this is good, okay? Gonna look to farm down, oh my gosh, okay. Gonna, okay, very good um, timing there. Uh, this doesn't KO, gonna be able to mud shot down. Okay, um, you definitely let this go here. This Venusaur has a lot of energy here, but needs to land three frenzies, okay? Uh, is at like basically 100 energy here. Um, needs to commit here. Um, do you, oh my gosh, they went straight for it. Okay. That was a huge shield there. And then this frenzy will definitely KO the Politoed. Very nice play by FP6. Oh man, oh man. Okay, these battles are kind of nuts here. Okay, okay, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is really tough for this team. I honestly think Ferrothorn's uh, one of the best Pokemon in the meta. Uh, this should be a Power Whip here. Uh, it does get it after four bullet, four bullet seeds. It gets the Power Whip. Gonna throw the Earthquake here. Uh, very nice timing on the throw. Ooh, they shielded. Okay, they that was some weird animations there. It looks like they got really quick bullet seeds there. They were like actual bullets at that point in time in terms of the speed that they were going. Um, gonna throw the earthquake here. This only does about half, and then okay, gonna catch the uh, power whip here, which is really nice. It has to be really creative. On okay, they come go eventually here. Okay, gonna go for the extra vine whip here. Uh, this will allow the Venusaur to outpace the Gavantula. Gonna throw here. They need one more. So good, probably gonna do one vine whip. Then, oh my gosh, this, these opponents are savages here. So they have the lunge now. The Venusaur will live lunge. So they're going over. Okay, gonna shield this. He's gonna catch, right? He's gonna catch. He's gonna catch the lunge. Yeah, he's, oh, oh, throw right, oh, that's a very nice play. That is a very nice play. That is a very nice play. Basically farmed out the Venusaur, then switched out halfway through the animation there. Okay, yeah, there's no way. Okay. They have a Sludge Bomb here. Sludge Bomb is single resisted though. They mirror shot, okay. Oh, this is a mirror shot. This is a mirror shot, it doesn't do very much damage. Very nice read by FP6 here. He's gonna look to farm down this. This should be a Power Whip, which does a pretty healthy amount of damage. They're gonna get to a, oh, okay. Well, this, oh my gosh, okay. Oh man, okay, really needs a Frenzy plan here to get rid of this Jellison before it gets a move off. Okay, in a really good spot right now because one Mirror Shot will not KO and one Frenzy Plant will KO the, the Ferrothorn. Oh, uh, the Vine Whips. They're gonna Vine Whip down a Ferrothorn. That is, that is a very nice play. Very nice play, okay. So, uh, in a very, Okay, this is a very uncomfortable matchup here. Um, Ken, yeah. 
The earthquake is going to do a lot of damage to this uh, to this Venusaur. Obviously, hits for neutral damage uh, because of the poison and grass typing. Gonna have to shield this if it wants to get off another earthquake, which it should be able to. It's 15 seconds to get to. Okay, 15 seconds to get to uh, uh, two earthquakes, and then it's uh, 17 to get to. Oh man, okay. Oh my gosh, very nice, very nice there. Caught the frenzy plan, which is really. Oh man, that is very bad. That is very bad there. They double resist frenzy here. They single resist sludge bomb. Oh man. Dragalgy. Oh man, that is that is one hell of a counter switch here. They go for the Aquatail, which obviously resisted. That's like the main downfall of this counter switch to Venusaur. But man, oh man. Okay. I'm gonna throw the rock slide here, which uh, which will deal uh, neutral damage. Oh man, it survived. Okay, you gotta let it go. Okay, and then farm down with uh, King. Should be able to drag him back down. Oh man. Okay, well, that is that is really unpleasant there. This this Venusaur will 100% get to a move. Um, yeah, yeah, will 100% get to a move. Uh, looks like uh, Taylor is committed to farming down. Oh, is that a Gallade? Yeah, that's Gallade, right? The Gallade will live this, though. Kenny KO in eight Dragon Breaths. Oh! Oof, okay. All right, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, well, the opponent lagged a little bit there, That's which is fine. Um, he's gonna go straight Earthquake here. Let's see what the opponent decides to do. Please don't shield. Please don't shield. Oh God, they're always shielding, Taylor. They're always shielding. Tried to catch there. Unfortunately, uh, with a slight desync there, was not able to catch. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the Venus was like two or three away from another one. Okay, gonna switch here. Okay, they're gonna sludge here. Oh man, this is such an uncomfortable health range here. Because one sludge will not KO. And they got an extra vine whip through, which is really, really, really not good there. Okay. Oh man, that's so uncomfortable here. Ugh, gonna let it go. They sludge bomb. Oh man. Oh god. Well, you have to go. Wait, is that was that was that dragon breath? Yeah, it was dragon breath here. Okay, gonna be able to rock slide here, and then catch the aqua tail. Okay, they decide not to throw right away. That is okay. Gonna shield this crunch here. Gonna farm down. They they are taking taking super effective damage. Oh, this is Aqua Tail. This is Aqua Tail. This is Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, okay. Maybe it's a bastard on the back. Okay. 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 Oh man. This is not enough to KO. This is not enough to KO, though. This is not enough. Really needs to switch here. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, oh man. Okay. I believe there's one last battle here. These have been some insane battles here. Okay. We're going to go Galarian Sun. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. This thing again. It's in Pulling on the back. This is a Dragonite Double Steel pretty uh, I, I would say like this is like a semi common line last season um, I, I personally haven't seen it too much but I haven't done a lot of coaching uh, this season so um, but it is a quite a strong team comp uh, Empoleon and uh, Dragonite form like a super strong core uh, similar to Alteria and Empoleon in the Great League okay okay gonna throw another rock slide here oh man okay switch here okay all right built up has the could have could have went into um i guess this is like the weak link right here right so gonna throw the frenzy plane here 
Okay, you prefer that this thing actually take you out so they don't farm with uh, Dragonite? Oh, man. Okay, you gotta wait the clock out, though. Oh, man, he's not waiting the clock out. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Please don't shield this. Please don't shield this for some strange reason. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, those were absolutely insane battles. I'm sorry for the yelling. I'm sorry to FB6 for for shouting there. Uh, I do think this team's really strong. Obviously, there's some Pokemon that do give it uh, some trouble, like Escavalier, uh, for example, which is going to be a pretty common Pokemon, um, especially in the like um, probably like uh, Ace and uh, Veteran uh, ranks, and then as well Ferrothorn, which is going to be a problem up in the the higher higher tier ranks where uh, people are more invested in the XL Pokemon. Uh, but those are some entertaining battles. Hopefully. You learned something. Uh, I, I guess if you want to check me out uh, as I slowly recover from those absolute savage plays by FP6 opponents, you can follow me on YouTube or on, on Twitter at Pogo King and then uh, Twitch.tv at uh, King Ivy. So thank you again, Taylor, for having me on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't. That, those were absolutely insane in savage moments there. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you again. Hopefully you enjoyed those videos. Uh, and don't forget to give this video a like. Show your support to Taylor, especially as he recovers from uh, jaw surgery.